Welcome to News Today with Universal Parks News Today. I'm Annie Wilson, and here is the news for April 30th, 2024. Universal Orlando Resort has announced their new summer offerings, including the opening date for DreamWorks Land, the Universal Mega Movie Parade, a new Hogwarts projection show, and the new Lagoon Show. DreamWorks Land will officially open June 14th. Guests will be able to meet Shrek and Splash in his swamp, take a ride on the troller coaster, and learn kung fu moves with Poe. Sensational, a symphonic spectacular, will celebrate the emotional power of music by leveraging the iconic scores and scenes from blockbuster films that have inspired Universal Orlando's past, present, and future attractions. Featured IPs will include Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts, Jurassic World, Jaws, Shrek, Ghostbusters, Trolls, Back to the Future, Universal Monsters, Transformers, How to Train Your Dragon, E.T., Fast and Furious, the Super Mario Brothers movie, Minions, The Mummy, and King Kong. Confirming the drone rumors, this new show will feature over 600 drones. Sensational technology also includes 228 fountains that can reach heights of up to 131 feet, 4K projection mapping, and an original composition featuring newly arranged scores. On July 3rd, the new Universal Mega Movie Parade will debut at Universal Studios Florida. It will feature classic films. Some of the most beloved stories from Universal's films will leap off the screen and land on the streets of Universal Studios Florida. Featured films will include classics like E.T., Back to the Future, Jaws, Ghostbusters, and Jurassic World. Illumination's Minions and Sing will be in the parade, as well as DreamWorks Animation's Trolls and Kung Fu Panda. This will be Universal Orlando Resort's biggest daytime parade yet, combining 13 new floats, almost 100 performers, and special effects to create a jaw-dropping experience. A Ghostbusters float will feature a 16-foot Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. The Trolls float will have the colorful Caterbus and giant rainbows. A live marching drum line will perform the iconic Jaws score alongside a Jaws float. The finale will include a gyrosphere, raptors, and the Tyrannosaurus Rex aboard a Jurassic World float. Performers will include dancers, skaters, stilt walkers, and poi performers. Universal added, fans should also pay close attention to the parade to see if they can spot additional details that nod to iconic elements from the films. The Summer Tribute Store will complement the parade with themed rooms, merchandise, and photo ops inspired by some of the films in the Universal Mega Movie Parade. More details will be released soon. Islands of Adventure is getting a new projection show in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. The new show, Hogwarts Always, will debut in Hogsmeade on June 14th, replacing the nighttime lights at Hogwarts Castle, which closed in May of 2023. Hogwarts Always will take guests on a journey through iconic moments of a school year at Hogwarts. From supply shopping in Diagon Alley and the exhilarating ride aboard the Hogwarts Express, to participating in sorting ceremony, celebrating the House Cup winner, and so much more, this visually stunning experience promises to captivate witches, wizards, and muggles of all ages. There will be four different endings to Hogwarts Always, each celebrating a different Hogwarts house. There will be dialogue from Professor Dumbledore, Hagrid, the Sorting Hat, and more Harry Potter characters. The show will culminate in a colorful pyrotechnic display. This summer at Universal Orlando Resort is going to be hot, but the Wizarding World of Harry Potter has rolled out a brand new treat to help you beat the heat. The Butterbeer Ice Lolly has finally arrived right at the end of Butterbeer season. This popsicle will be available throughout the summer for a limited time from the Hopping Pot in Diagon Alley and the Magic Neep Cart in Hogsmeade. This is a similar concept to the character Freeze Ray Pops in Minion Land. The outside is a hard shell, and the inside is a soft popsicle. The outer layer replicates the flavor of Butterbeer's foam topping, while the inside is inspired by the beverage. These come pre-packaged and wrapped in themed Butterbeer plastic. The stick is also themed with a B for Butterbeer. When you finish your popsicle, you'll find a surprise design on the stick of what appears to be bugs. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I really, that was probably my favorite thing about this. The outside tasted a bit like white chocolate, and we couldn't taste much butterbeer at first. We let it soften some before eating more, and the butterbeer flavors were stronger in the second bite. The butterbeer flavor was faint, but built upon itself with each bite. It's creamy, but not very sweet. These will be available this summer for a limited time, so make sure you try one. 
Universal Studios Hollywood is officially celebrating 60 years of the studio tour with limited time experiences. From April 26th through August 11th, 2024, guests will be able to experience the world famous studio tour in a whole new way, both on and off the tram. The celebration begins before entering the park. Lamp posts leading up to the entrance are decorated with film reel inspired banners featuring vintage photos of the studio tour. The billboard and marquee at the studio tour escalators have new artwork. The billboard features four different versions of the trams that have been used over the years. Inside the queue, the walls are covered in history and did you know facts. The diesel trams of the studio tour have been redecorated to look like the old glamour trams, which had red and white candy striping. The newer electric trams retain their standard look. No matter what tram you end up on, you'll experience the anniversary offerings. The tour is hosted by Jimmy Fallon with new pre-recorded clips featuring the host and other celebrities. There is a mix of history about the past 60 years and the standard tour. There are small 60th anniversary touches throughout the tour. For example, the Ted statue holds a sign reading cheers to 60 years. Happy anniversary studio tour. As the tour nears the town square set, guests see a clip featuring Back to the Future screenwriter Bob Gale and star Leah Thompson. Doc Brown appears in person with the DeLorean on the Town Square set. Back to the Future was filmed here, although the set has seen changes over the years for other projects. Earthquake, the big one, has been closed for a major refurbishment and has reopened with the 60th anniversary of the studio tour. This part of the tour has been experienced a lot of technical difficulties since the refurbishment, though. It took three rides on the tram before we were even able to experience Earthquake. If this part of the tour is down, you will just skip it and continue with the rest of the tour. The major highlight of the anniversary studio tour is that guests get to step off the trams onto the back lot for photo ops. This experience is after the tour goes through the War of the World set and past the Psycho House. The trams park at the Bates Motel and allow guests to exit. An original Universal Studios Glamour Tram is available for photos. Props and set pieces are displayed here, inspired by the old Prop Plaza. There is also a replica of the Hollywood sign. The tram drops you off at the Bates Motel, and there are a few great opportunities for photos. Norman's car is parked nearby for a photo op with the Psycho House in the background. You may even spot Norman while you're there. You can go as fast or as slow as you want in this area because you can board any tram you want going back. More photo ops are around the back of the Bates Motel, and there are QR codes on the signs to add effects to each photo. The King Kong photo op has a backdrop of Kong and a giant fluffy Kong hand. Guests can stand in the hand to look like the ape is holding them, similar to photo ops from the past. The Jaws photo op features a hanging shark against an Amity Island background, and two studio cars are used for the Fast and Furious photo op. When you're done taking photos, you get back on any tram to finish the tour. The studio tour then takes you through Jupiter's claim set and the Fast and Furious supercharged attraction. There's one more photo op at the end of the tour when guests exit the tram. You can watch the full tour right here on our channel. There is tons of great merchandise for the 60th anniversary of the studio tour, but the Glamour Tram Popcorn Bucket might be the most popular. The popcorn bucket is $43.99 and includes free fills all day on the day of purchase. The bucket is shaped like the tram in red and white with Woody Woodpecker driving. The license plate reads 071564 in honor of the first day of the studio tour, July 15, 1964. When you push the tram, Woody will turn the steering wheel like he's driving. The popcorn bucket also lights up and laughs. The lights on the tram will light up when you push the button on the top, and you'll hear Woody Woodpecker's iconic laugh. These can be found at multiple locations around Universal Studios Hollywood. And I have one right here. And um, you gotta hear this. A, a few more times and it becomes annoying, but it's really cute at first. <laughs> this program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, Be Our Guest Vacations. Your dream vacation begins with Be Our Guest Vacations and their concierge team of expert vacation planners. The best part is, their concierge services are 100% free. 
Head over to BeOurGuestVacations.com slash WDWNT and the team will design your next epic vacation. From Universal Parks to Walt Disney World and Disneyland Resorts, Disney Cruise Line, Virgin Voyages, Royal Caribbean, and more. For a limited time, guests visiting Universal Studios Hollywood can catch a special showing of the Fall Guy Stuntacular pre-show before Waterworld. Universal Studios Hollywood is offering the Fall Guy Stuntacular pre-show now through May 19th. Signs and a photo op near the entrance advertise the new film starring Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. Inspired by the Fall Guy, this stunt show features divers, jet skis, and more. It's a lengthy pre-show with plenty of action. If you have a chance to see it, I highly recommend it, or you can watch it right here on our channel. New merchandise has arrived for the summer, featuring DreamWorks Land, Jurassic Park, Minions, and more. If you like headbands, you're in luck. There are a lot of new options to choose from. For the ogre achievers out there, there's a Shrek ear headband for $18. Fans of Jurassic Park can choose from having their head chomped on by dinosaurs or fighting for dinosaur rights. There are sparkly pink and teal dinosaur headbands for $22 each. The dinosaur rights headbands are also $22 each. If you're a fan of the Freestyle Cup Slings, a new DreamWorks Cup Carrier is available featuring Shrek, Poppy, and Poe for $16. Stay cool this summer with a DreamWorks Land cooling towel for $22 or dry off after splashing around with a DreamWorks Just Chilling beach towel for $27. There are plenty of character headbands and other new merchandise available. Check out our site for a full post with pricing. Minion Land officially opened last year, but the illumination mural on the side of the Transformers building is now complete. Work on the mural began in November of 2023. Progress has been slow going, but it now matches the concept art and features characters from Despicable Me, Sing, and The Secret Life of Pets. The illumination marquee lights up, and as a fun Easter egg, it occasionally only illuminates the M-I-N and I-O-N portions, so the sign reads, Minion. Over in New York, two dogs from The Secret Life of Pets have moved into the apartments on Park Avenue, which faces Gramercy Park. In a window high above the street, Mel the Pug can be spotted. Leonard the Poodle can be found in another window nearby. A new souvenir Fire Flower Sipper is available in Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Hollywood. The Sipper is $20 and the first fill is free with the purchase. Refills are available for $1.50 for the rest of the day. We found it in the 1UP factory, but they're also for sale at Toadstool Cafe and Power Up Cafe. The sipper is designed to look like a fire flower popping out of a question block and comes with a lanyard for easy carrying. A new Minion popcorn bucket has arrived at the Universal Orlando Resort in honor of the upcoming Despicable Me 4. This popcorn bucket is a Minion dressed in a red and black fabric jumpsuit. The jumpsuit is very detailed and has a lot of different logos and patches for the Junior Grew Crew. The Minion holds a large silver wrench. The walnut on the wrench spins and the Minion's eyes move back and forth. The suit and hat can be removed for easy cleaning. You can find these at the Universal Studios Store and around Minion Land for $29.99. You can support the entire team behind this show and others by joining the WDWNT Inner Globe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. Get access to exclusive content, discounted show and event tickets, and more. A special shout out to all the WIGS members watching who make this show happen every week. For more information on these stories and more, head on over to UniversalParksNewsToday.com. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to Universal Parks News Today on YouTube for more great content, click the bell for notifications, and make sure to hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of News Today with Universal Parks News Today. For UPNT, this is Annie Wilson saying, the future is whatever you make it, so make it a good one.